what's up guys welcome to another video of modern javascript for lwc development so guys in today's video we'll learn about template literals or i can say template string so let me show you first like what is a template literal actually so the template li literal or template string are delimited with the backtick character okay so what is a backtick character so let me show you on the play code so for, for this example also i'll be using playcode.io if you would like to you know try out uh, with this video so you can just directly go to playcode.io and create your own playground so the back to character is this character you see this character so template uh, literals allow you to perform some actions mostly the actions could be like create a string by doing substitution of placeholders which can be little complicated if you will use the normal way so before i was aware about this template uh, literal stuff I was using the normal way which was pretty good at that time but when i came to know like this is the modern way of doing it now I, now i'm completely into it into this template uh, literal stuff so let's under, understand it uh, with few examples of it okay so for this example let's create an object first so i'm creating a constant let's name it my user okay and here i'm having value first name and last name okay now let's suppose if i have to print a console log here uh, where i'll be having this user value so how it is going to be so let's suppose we are going to print it like following user in single quotes is not available now and then maybe we can have the value which is first name and last name so let's suppose like i want to print something like this okay now if i will go with the traditional way or i would say standard way so it, it goes like console.log okay so the console should be in single quotes now here if i will type following now if i have to type user also in single quotes so let's suppose if i type like this user so you can see like the error there because like you you cannot add single quotes inside single quotes so to use this you in traditional way you have to use a backslash and here as well so following user is not available now okay now to print the value we have to do it like with the plus symbol maybe so we can have it like uh, my user dot first name okay so this was the expected text i would say using the traditional way okay now let's suppose you like let's suppose you are aware about the template literal stuff and now you want to use a template literal instead of this traditional way so for template literal you can simply do it like so in single quotes we'll be having okay we'll be having it in template literal so it will be this sign and following now i will type user with single quotes user is not available it's not available now okay now i will be having the value also inside these template literals so you can simply add the values by using a dollar sign curly braces and then you can add it like my user dot first name so if you'll notice the output is output is exactly same but here in this line number eight we are using template literal stuff and here we are using the traditional way which is like adding a plus sign to add the string and the parameter and using the escape sequences to print the values like single quotes or any other value 
So using template literals, you can also avoid these escape sequences here as well. Okay, so that was just a single example of it. Now let me show you another good example of it. Okay, let's suppose if you would like to if you like to have some values in multi lines. Okay, so how it goes in traditional ways? It is it will be like console log and in traditional way we will do hello my first name is and we will have the value which will be my user dot first name and then we will add plus sign again and now we will add a line break so that would be like backslash n and we will add my last name is then we will again do my user dot last name so this is the traditional way of doing it to have a uh, multi-line strings i would say and how it goes with template literal is you can simply do console.log then don't forget the backtick sign here this is very very important so in backtick sign guys you can just simply hit hit and enter to have have the string in the next line so let's suppose like if i will print it like line one then this is not done just a second so if i will print it like this line one enter line two enter line three so if you'll notice i'm not using this backslash and thing to uh make it make it happen in the next line i'm just you know using the simple enter tag and it's using the actual uh, new line here to to uh, make the text available for the next line as well so if you will go with the same example so it, it is going to be like let me just quickly copy it okay now to use it you have to use dollar sign and then my user dot first name okay then after that i will just hit the enter and i will use my last name is then i will again use a dollar sign curly braces my user dot last name so using the template strings or template literals you don't have to worry about the new line and stuff as well you can simply like use the multi-line thing like you're just you know typing the string or something okay so this was another example of why you should use template uh why you should use this template literal in your javascript code okay another thing could be let's suppose if you want to con concatenate a string if you want to add a string with some values or maybe with some parameters as well so how you're supposed to do that okay so let's suppose here let's take a constant and another constant okay now if you would like to print log here so you can simply do like console.log and let's suppose if i'm printing a text 15 is And here I'm adding my constants here like a plus b okay and then plus and next line not This is just a basic example from MDN website. I will be sharing that link as well in this video description. Okay, plus single quotes dot. So the text is 15 is 15 and not 20. Okay, 
now how we will be having the same text using the template literals okay let's check it out so with the template literals this text will go like console.log then backtick of course 15 is now we will be using the dollar sign and also you can have your expression into the dollar sign so it will be like a plus b okay then we have and then i will just hit enter not dollar sign a plus b and i will hit a dot here so both both these logs are having the same uh, output but they are having the complete different method of using it like in the first one we are using the traditional way and in the second one we are using the template literal or template string way so these were the few basic things i would say that are possible using template literals there are a lot more interesting stuff you can check in the official documentation which will be in the link of the description and also guys if you need this uh, code block to test in your playground or something so i'll be having the complete code on my blog also which is salesforceworld.com so you can just directly go to that blog and get the post code snip from there so that it is for today guys i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching